Hello. Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and do I look sleepy? Because I feel sleepy. Yeah. But hopefully that will change once we find out what we're drawing today in our draw an animal from a jar and paint it thing challenge. So hopefully this isn't the blank one today because I'm not yet sure what to do once that happens. But here's our animal, an alpaca, tiny llama. I don't know if this makes me less sleepy or more sleepy. <laughs> but let's begin so i'm trying to figure out what to do with our alpaca currently looking at some references but also brainstorming what should i make our alpaca do today oh looks like a sock puppet oh, ain't that precious oh, these are cute animals let me show you what i'm seeing so i'm thinking i was thinking to ooh, that's long grammar. I was thinking of like placing an alpaca in like an environment or something or in a narrative. But then I saw this in my slow internet. I saw this. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at this face. Look at that. It's cute. But drawing the fur might be might be tough. Just look at that face. This one looks like a like an alpaca that knows how to skateboard. Yeah. Look at this one. Honestly, our, our video today could be just looking at alpacas. I know I have to draw. I'm, I'm thinking of a sock puppet guy here. Either him or this. That's too cute. Let's let me take this one. So this one is by Matthias. Mateus D on unsplash.com. Let's quickly bring that into our references. Our uh, this thing, what's it called? Our critter app. Insert as reference. Scale it. Scale it. It's refusing to scale. For real, for real. It's refusing to scale. Uno momento, por favor. Uno momento, por favor. What's happening? For real, for real. Anyway, you guys have seen the reference and oh, apparently it was loading in the background. I don't know what was going on. Probably still has bugs because this is a Krita 5.2 beta version. So that might be why refusing to respond, make it big today. And I use the rest of the canvas to actually draw. And I'm feeling, again, feeling tired. But since this animal has like a limited color palette thing, and I will be doing plenty, plenty, plenty of color picking today, we might paint. We might actually paint. So isn't that exciting? Yeah, let's just put on this painting glove, my last sip for a while and do we sketch or not <clears throat> let's see i like this brush so i'm going to use that i'm going to try to silhouette the creature first so we don't really have to spend time on a sketch you see today's painting is i don't know but we won't let these minor inconveniences inconvenience us now we no we shan't so i want to do a silhouette first of the llama or alpaca it would be funny if i had an alpaca and a llama in the same jar it's fine let me save this before things start happening and you guys have you been i've changed my uh, upload time so that i can actually sleep more realize uh, the whole of last week, my sleep schedule was way, way, way off. And I mentioned it, I think yesterday, I usually sleep at 3. And then that means I have to wake up at around 11, sometimes past noon. And sometimes when it's past noon, my body just decides it can't, it can't handle anything that day. So usually it feels like a wasted day when that happens. That's why I make these videos at night. It's still night time, but instead of recording at 11.30, it's now 8.30. So slowly by slowly, I'm going back to a regular normal pattern of doing things. But with that out of the way, have you guys been? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm just ditching the sketch phase all together and we are finding our animal within our strokes. Eventually we should have like a passable animal. So what I am doing today is technically looking at the shapes of, of stuff. So like the shape of this shadow under the chin and then just contrasting the dark area with light areas until eventually we'll end up with llama an alpaca sorry i keep calling it a llama so anything that's dark i'm trying to put it in the dark 
uh, values, opting away some things. If you'd like, you can do a little bit of this action, it's mirroring. All I'm doing is looking at the shadow shapes, trying to see how I can manipulate them. So we can have an alpaca, almost said llama again, an alpaca at the end of a viral. I don't know if I'm going to do one layer today or if I'm going to do like make this my sketchy layer then eventually paint on top of this layer upon layer upon layer until we're done we'll see on an unrelated note i watched yesterday's video and i and i heard i heard in my voice or in the yeah, my voice that my my sounds are very amplified and for those people who have who are neurotic like me and you're wondering why am i why those sounds are amplified and some others are like swallowed. Well, let me tell you why. You see this microphone, while very lovely and actually very cheap compared to some other microphones, is extremely sensitive to sound. So me coughing, it picks it up. Breathing, it picks it up. Swallowing, which is the worst thing. Worst thing, picks it up. My neighbor upstairs farting, picks it up. So what I had to do, is uh, configure it in such a way that it only picks up sound when I speak. And unfortunately or fortunately, the Lord gave me a low voice and some of my softer sounds are, well, softer. So you might find that my S's, my F's and my TH's don't come out as clearly. And I just want you to know that's the reason why, because it's the Lord's fault. It's the Lord's fault, actually. <laughs> and also, I don't want to hear. I don't want you to hear me swallow after every sentence. It's very, it's very gross, even for me. And it's, it's my own voice. So that's my tiny explanation that you did not, you did not need, but I felt I had to give. So slowly by slowly, we are getting an alpaca shaped thing. Uh, currently not sure if I'll continue using this particular brush, but so far it's not disappointing. I really like it and I can, I think, just negated my statement by saying I think, I can confidently say that one could theoretically make a whole painting using just this brush. And the good thing with uh, Krita is this brush is free. It comes pre-packed in the application. It's just there, waiting to be used. I think most Krita brushes are free. Uh, it, would, it wouldn't make sense if, let's say, I start making brushes and I start selling them, or a free software where other people are, set, are giving out their own brushes. So, it doesn't make sense. Although, capitalism, if the capitalism, the capitalism bug gets to me, I will definitely sell you some brushes. Yes, I would. I have no shame. There is no shame in me. So I'm currently layering on top of the gray we did with a lighter value. Trying not to go straight to the whites because it might be very saturated. And I'm also trying not to go like really fast today. I want to enjoy this process on this fine third Monday evening. Or Tuesday evening for you guys. For the clumps of hair, I am literally just tapping the screen. Get that sort of hair texture in there. I think I'll save the eyes for the last. I really want them to be very expressive. And also for this shadow below, it's not really that dark. So that's what I'm doing right now. Correcting that value arrangement. It's somehow this, this value. And then let me take random gray, lighten it up a bit. It's going a bit darker. I want to do some of those shadows within the hairs. It's lighter for this bit, darker for this. And I think at this point, we could try liquefying. Although I haven't mastered the liquefy tool for, for Krita. I feel like it's a bit sluggish, at least in my opinion. It takes some time to, to do the thing. So for my animal, I'm finding that this eye should be a bit lower. There should be a wider space between the eyes. My nose should be higher, slightly. There should be like a very significant gap between this eye and the nose. And the muzzle is like a very small square or rectangle, sorry. So currently, this looks like a candidate for paint over. So for the parts I'm not really sure about, like the eyes, I'm going to paint over that. And on a layer on top, I'm going to go a bit dark. And using the nose as my reference point, I know 
this should be on the side of the eye cylinder that goes a sphere that goes like that and another that goes at the top and do that just a bit here somewhere here then the brow ridge yeah that's what it's called call a brow ridge not an eye sphere brow ridge will be over there and the eye itself is here we'll refine it later so don't worry about this so for the other eye this should be brow ridge it's more or less where it was and the eye should be over there maybe not i might not be as uh photo accurate as i'd like but we'll make do and the trick to make eyes like really pop is to focus on this part the membranes uh yeah where the eye sits make sure that bit is like really has a contrast between the eye and the the rest of the the thing i ever mentioned how hard it is to draw and speak at the same time because it is very difficult but i think i'm getting better with practice uh oh my eyes i like to use this brush for everything actually but for this i like to use this, the round brushes and my favorite of the round brushes is of course soft round and then as if i won't draw on top and assuming i didn't just say i'll save the eyes for last <laughs> we need something reflective for that and to define this underside something like that I just realize i'm still using the soft round that's how versatile it is you can literally make any painting with just this brush is it advisable probably not but is it fun very 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 fun let me go back to the other one another shortcut i found uh, recently is you can change between your brushes in Krita by tapping the question mark uh, button on your keyboard so instead of if you have like two brushes that you really really like like me and the airbrush so i just clicked my question mark it toggled the airbrush on question mark again the brush we were using comes back on it's a really handy shortcut or like a faster workflow so now let's mess around with this nose so painting for anyone that's new to this like i was just a year ago it's really just adding things erasing them adding things removing them i'm seeing my nose is a bit stubby what i can do is paint all this and using black it's the darkest these mark these uh, creases on the nose are the darkest thing apart from the eyes the darkest thing on our canvas so now we just refine add some bit of uh, volume and eventually the nose will start looking 3d slowly so now i just switch to the airbrush just to get it to help me blend these things blending a bit smoothening and all that so now we cannot forget our neck and to add this texture like feel of the neck and i'm just pressing on to just making dots onto the, the neck so you have something like that it's a little wonky this is where the liquify would have helped us but i'm not sure this liquify knows what it's supposed to do or either that or me i don't know what i'm supposed to do there are two modes here there's wash and there's liquify i just changed it to wash and i don't see any particular thing happening so build up build up is a mode we were in and it's kind of working but not really really want to fix this especially the eye it's trying to add in a rough background and very slow not sure if it's the size of my canvas or or what exactly because it's it's not behaving the way i thought it would behave today but that's okay you know why because we have the airbrush honestly the airbrush makes me so happy it might not work the same way i'm used to it working but it works that i am sure of i am well certain i might have ruined it i might have but well, that's okay there's a layer in the very outskirts that's like really light really light hair being rimlet from like behind so i'm just tapping with my brush i could do this at the end there we have an alpaca so right now i'm going to make a clipping group and make this a color layer and then now we can start like really color picking maybe reduce the opacity just a bit touch up these areas so wherever it's brown chit a bit just chips white areas and don't pink 
color. Doing the thing again. So I think I understand some things now. Parts, when it's like really black, the color layer doesn't work. So when it's black or white, it doesn't really work. Anyway, here's our alpaca. You merge those. And then probably on a layer on top with, uh, let's go back to our paint brushes. Probably use this textured one. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know what will happen. Nah. Mm, I need a brush with grunge. Brush that gets me. So with these brushes of ours, we can do something like this as like a final piece and i think i will merge some of these not everything but just some of them and then really highlight this speculating thing the eye and probably the membrane i was telling you guys about to show some bit of moisture there what what is this yeah guys i don't know what's happening with the app today i might need to downgrade back to 5.1 or maybe my computer just needs a break either way we are still done for the day get this pink pinkish brown we are actually done all that's left to do now take a very thin brush and just because my alpaca is darker than reference it needs some whiskers just a few here and there and we are done for the day get rid of this so there's our alpaca my friends I like it. Not very photo uh, realistic one to one. And kind of wonky when you mirror it. But I like it. I like it a lot. And if you liked it, if you like this video, kindly leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends. Force them to subscribe because you are more powerful than you can ever imagine. You can do a lot. You can force your friends and family to subscribe. And you can also subscribe behind their backs. So, friendship. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Two thumbs up. Kindly let me know what we do with a blank piece of paper. So animal or creature of your choice, put it in the comments and I'll arrange them and see what's the best one. So far, the one that is in the running is a spider. It's a spider. But what kind of spider? Mm. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.